Draw. Thick. Blackboard. Draw. Thick. Blackboard. Draw. Thick. Blackboard. We're going to use some new blocks today. Do you see the boot tab here? Do you see the boot tab here? Oh, what a lot of blocks! Right, and they all help us draw with ease. Let's add our object and background. Okay. I'm going to go for this pencil since we will draw. And a classroom for the background. 칠판과 연필을 골랐네? Drawing on the blackboard? So fun! You like blackboards, huh? Great! Now let's have the pencil follow the mouse. Now let's have the pencil follow the mouse. First, we need to add the 시작하기 버튼을 클릭했을 때 block mm. and the 계속 반복하기 block. Then we go to the 움직임 tab, find the mouse pointer 위치로 이동하기 block and insert it into the 계속 반복하기 block. Wow, impressive. So let's now run it to see if it's done right. Hmm, looks like it's working. 연필이 마우스를 잘 따라다니네. Now let's draw with this pencil. We want the pencil to work while we're holding down the mouse button and to stop drawing when we let go. Go find the 그리기 block under the boot tab. Go find the 그리기 block under the boot tab. Mm, thanks, Dr. Argo. Then let's add the mouse to click the block. Then click on the boot tab and find and add the 그리기 시작하기 block. All right, let's check it out. 자, 실행하면? It's working! It's drawing! Oh, but it doesn't stop when you let go of the mouse button. Mm. That's because we haven't coded the mouse clicker 해제했을 때 block yet. Which is what we're going to do right now. We're going to add the mouse clicker 해제했을 때 block followed by the 그리기 멈추기 block we can find under the boot tab. It's done. Let's run it. 다시 실행. Yes! The pencil works only when we are holding down the mouse button. Mm, isn't it too thin? I can hardly see it. Okay then, we can make it thicker. Just go to the boot tab again and find the 붓의 굵기를 정하기 block. Put it before the 그리기 시작하기 block. Now, Type in 5 and run it. 굵기를 봐봐. Much clearer. Is there any way we can change the thickness more easily without having to type in numbers every time? Of course, there is. We can use 변수, which is found under the 속성 tab. We can use 변수, which is found under the 속성 tab. Right, let's give it a try. Go to 속성 and click on 변수. Type in 굵기 for the 변수 이름. Let's set the 기본값 to 5 and set the range from 1 to 10. 이렇게 굵기를 바꿀 수 있지? Now go to the 자료. Drag and insert the 굵기 값 block into 보세 굵기를 정하기 block. And now we can change the thickness while we're drawing. Do you see the 굵기 slider here? 
Try sliding it to change the thickness. Okay. It's five now. 굵기 5로 그렸네. Now it's one. 이번엔 굵기 1로 그렸네. Mm, now I'm going to slide it to ten. Wow! It's more fun when I can change the foot quirky. Great! You want to get used to Hyunju since we'll be using it a lot. Um, there's no more room. Can we erase them? Sure, why not? Just add the Ento Kidder Nulosir De block and then Modun Put Jiugi block. You can find it under the put tab. That's it. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to draw some hearts. 그래. 하트를 여러 개 그리고 지울 때는 어떻게 해야 하지? Um, and then hit the enter key. Voila! They are all gone. Amazing. Good job. We did, did it. it. Today's sentences are I draw a beautiful picture. You have a thick book. I draw a beautiful picture. You have a thick book. I draw a beautiful picture. You have a thick book.